into it, man. Let's start off. Let's get this out of the way. What has been uh, causing a lot of us stress? Um, the whole pandemonium, the chaos, the looting, uh, the death, the arson, everything. Wow. Um, and on this side, we, we're just going to reflect on that, but we're going to reflect through um, a post, an IG video that Chup Chup did, all right? Chup Chup went on IG and started firing. Bruh. Firing shots, man. He fired shots before <laughs> SANTF was, was around. <laughs> Bruh, he fired shots before they were even deployed. Yeah, before, <laughs> before, before the army was deployed, this nigga was firing shots. <laughs> hey, bruh. Um, I want to start off with this, man. I want to start off with a quote actually from AKA who said, let's not uh, forget that um, uh, celebrities are dumb. Hundreds. I want to start off with that quote. Uh, and, and as you can see from the quote, I'm saying this nigga's dumb. Yeah. I'm saying this guy missed a lot of things. You see, you shouldn't go on social media or go on a public platform whilst you're emotional. Mm-hmm. You get your things mixed up. You talk over yourself. You contradict yourself. You quote wrong things. You, you, that thing was just a mess. The only thing that I got from there is that he takes 10% of and his salary and helps people. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. That's, that's about that the is the only thing that man said that I can say, oh, wow. That's good. Okay. But that only takes like 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And the rest of close to 20 minutes while he was speaking, he was talking shit. Hey, bro. He was talking shit. You know, the things that he was saying, you can see the man is so uninformed. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't know. You, you know what? He doesn't even know why he did it. I don't think he knows. I don't nah, think he, he knows. Nah, he doesn't know. Okay, let, let's, let's unpackage this Reach shit. Up, yeah. yeah, let's unpackage this shit. What stood out for you? What, like, give me one thing that stood out because there's a lot of topics that he touched on yeah. and we're going to try and go quickly through them um, but what's the one topic that stood out for you and said oh okay when you said it's okay for these people to loot yeah, and steal and steal yeah yeah. and why, why is that why did that stand out for you and what's your opinion about that okay right he says these people are hungry mm. and it's okay for them to steal the food mm. And whatever the medication, he, keep, he kept on going back and forth about the granny going to clicks and stealing mm. the medication, right? Mm. Mm. He said it's okay mm. because our government is, it, it failed them. Yes. So basically he said, to me, he took, to what I, my understanding was, he said it's okay to, to, to go ape shit on our government when, when, they, when, they, when they fail. Mm. Mm. Not mm. by voting them out, mm. by basically in destroying our our economy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what he's basically yeah, saying. Yeah. Um, my take on that is that that he shouldn't even have touched that because he thought he he wanted to defend himself. Um, I'm actually looking at a picture of a monkey with glasses. <laughs> <laughs> intelligent monkey. Mm -hmm. He wanted to sound intelligent. That's why I'm actually mm -hmm. raising this picture. He wanted to sound intelligent because he said, "Oh, it's not about Zuma anymore. Mm. It's about the hunger," mm. and that is one part. But this was. Uh, people that were going after the government. Mm. All right. And I'm not going to go into that because it's, for me, this was a political fight mm -hmm. and the poor people were being used uh, for people's ends mm. to settle political scores or to try and put pressure on government. And it's not about putting pressure on government to do what the government is meant to be doing. Mm. And just a side note, the government has been shit. Yep. All right, has been shit, but this is more than the looting, mm -hmm. and he couldn't get that. Right, there are people that were. I told you on Monday before even the government came out. I mm -hmm. told I was like, no, no, this thing. If you took time and just spend an hour on Twitter mm -hmm. and social media, you would have you would have figured out that this has got nothing to do with the poor people. The mm -hmm. poor people were used as a battering ram mm -hmm. to get the message get across, the message across. But the message that the poor people are trying to send to the government is different from the message that the people that started this shit are trying to send to the government. Mm -hmm. Right? So, for me, at that point, he's wrong. This thing of saying stealing and looting is right. Because he had some butchers, he's got butcheries that got, mm -hmm. that got looted. That's cool for you. Mm -hmm. 
But what about the people that are now joining the people that are going are hungry? Are now going to be joining the looters in terms of hunger? What about that? What about that? You see, when there's chaos, no one wins. Mm-mm. And you're an influencer. You should understand that. You should understand that there's people that are going to lose jobs. Mm-hmm. And funny enough, you actually work, your show is on DSTV. Mm-hmm. Moja Love, which is on DSTV. Mm-hmm. That is a middle class platform. What do you think when more people move from the middle class to the poor class? What's going to happen to you, motherfucker? You're going to lose subscribers. Okay, you don't care because you got butcheries. Got what's going to happen to all those other people that depend? What's going to happen to the people that shoot your show? Because your cameraman. Mm-hmm. When the economy goes up in flame, what's going to happen to those people that work with you and work for the station that your platform, uh, your show is hosted on? You stupid. <laughs> you, you, you fucking dumb. He's dumb. Most of even distance themselves from Right. Him. And then he starts, of course, they had to distance themselves. You can't say people should go around and break the law. Break the law, yeah. It doesn't make sense. Once there's chaos, no one wins. And trust me, you keep on talking about politicians. Politicians are going to survive this chaos. They're going to survive this Mm -hmm. chaos. There's not going to be retrenchment in parliament Mm -hmm. because of this chaos. Chaos. So you are just, you got emotional. The hands are started with that. You got emotional and got on live and you didn't think your shit through. Right? Now, let's go into another topic that he, he touched on. He says, he started off by saying that there's a lot of people that are coming online. In actual fact, most of this rant was directed at celebrities. celebrities yeah. Right? So, he is saying there's celebrities that come online and talk things. Mm-hmm. And talk things. And uh, they don't understand how the poor are affected. They don't understand why the poor are looting. Um, by the way, he's also a celebrity. So in his head, he's the only one who's meant to have an who's opinion. meant to have an opinion, yeah. <laughs> in his head. And then later on on his rant, he comes back and he says, no one is saying anything. You first say people are coming on and saying shit, mm-hmm. right? Which you don't agree with. And then later on, you're saying you're the only one who's speaking but no one is speaking because they are scared of their endorsements, losing their endorsements, uh, losing their performing gigs with the politicians and mm. losing flavor and all of that stuff. Which one is it? Are you saying that people, the only people you want to hear from are the people that are going to agree with, with your shit? That's basically because what he said. Because you start off by saying people are coming on. So there are people, you're acknowledging there are people that are speaking, mm-hmm. but it's just that they're not saying your shit. And then at the end, you're saying the one is speaking. Which one is it? Which one is it? He's contradicting himself. That's why I'm saying this man is dumb. <laughs> okay, he said it. Celebrities are dumb. So I understand. Every, everyone who opposed him, he attacked. And he attacks personally. He doesn't yes. give out the Yes, 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 yes. I, 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 look, I don't want to really go into the Lerato Hayako. I, I can't even remember what she said. Mm. But it supposedly went against what Jup Jup said. Yeah. Right? And then at the end, he does a threat where he says, um, don't don't come for me or don't, don't yeah don't ever address me otherwise I'm gonna reveal your secrets. Hey my G. Okay, and then you're saying you want people you want to talk. You, Just you shut the fuck it, up. It, so it doesn't fucking make sense. It doesn't fuck. he's a fucking bully. Yeah. Even in his show, he abuses people's rights. Right. His show is not about people in center. Mm-mm. Use people's pain. Black people's pain, going to squatter camp, right? Invading people's spaces. When people don't want to speak to you, sometimes he even holds them, yeah. stalks them. You are a fucking bully. He's a bully. Look at yourself first before you start talking. About, and I don't give a fuck about celebrities myself. Mm. But this has to be called out because you want to seem holy, holy. You are buying favor with us on the ground. And then, ooh, Jup Jup, Jup hey, Jup is for the people. He's woke. He's woke. He's woke. He's woke. He's Fuck your people. wokeness, Come man. On. He's dumb. Right? And then he starts talking about uh, the government stole five, 500 billion. Nigga, you don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Where was the 500 exactly. billion? There was no 500 billion. It's just fallacy. It was like... <sighs> you, you, and that's the thing. You're coming on uninformed, emotional, and talking shit. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I expected him to know that there was no 500 billion. 
No, but you see now, he's the only right one. <laughs> he's no, he's the only right one. He's the only one who can talk about protests and looting and economic sabotage, right? And arsonage that is affecting everyone, but his word is gospel. He's got what, yeah. He's 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 got a, a fucking line with God. He knows this shit. He's right. the only one who can do it. And then he says he walks into his uh, uh after he's looted, he walks into his uh uh, butchery, butchery, and he says he prays, right? Yeah. Because he was taking out his equi equipment. equipment. Why didn't he leave his equipment there? Because the poor people need it. Exactly. He said they must steal, right? Why but can't he leave his equipment there so that the poor people can get his fryers or whatever yeah. else he and has? His there. computers. His computers so that they can resell it. Right? Hypocrisy. Dude, that, that speech was probably the most idiotic thing I've heard. Right, I've heard some shit. I've seen some idiotic things from a lot from of celebrities. celebrities, but this one takes, takes the, the fucking cup. cake. <laughs> right, this one takes the fucking cake. Hey, right, guy, he complains about lockdowns. Right, he says they 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 causing job losses. The looting is causing, causing job, job losses. losses as well. Stealing is causing job. job Arson, burning down shit is causing job losses. What the fuck are you talking about? Bruh, what like, the fuck are you talking about? I don't. I think you saw me when I was watching those videos. Like, <laughs> it's I don't understand, bro. Worthy, bro. I don't understand. And then there's this last part, which I think he said it about three times on his rant, mm. which I think we must debunk and actually understand yeah. what the fuck is going on. Once you start calling people that disagree with you clever blacks, outrageous <sighs> me. So when 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 I heard when I heard him say that, I thought, okay, so we shouldn't have an opinion. You see this term of clever blacks. I'm coming yeah. to what you're saying now. This term of clever blacks is actually coming from, um, it's a it's a synonym mm. or a sister to, right, to seven o two blacks. I don't know if you've seen that on social media. Seven o two blacks. Seven o two blacks. So basically, it means that you are a, you you like a coon. Oh, you you like uh, an, an Uncle Tom? Mm. You like a house Negro? Mm. That's what clever black okay. means. You are a house, house Negro. Negro, and you, in your whole bullshit rant, kept on saying that black people should come together. How do the fuck do I come together with you when you're calling me a, a coon, a clever black, an Uncle Tom? You have to be such a fucking idiot to think that. The only way that you're going to get me to see your point is by trashing me. Trashing my views. Trashing my views and trashing me. Trashing who I am. Trashing how I think. Trashing how I behave. And then you think, right, that I must agree with you. Right? Somewhere along this rant, to show that he's also a fucking clever black, right? He's complaining about potholes. <laughs> potholes. Potholes. Are a middle class problem. Not a lower class problem. No. Potholes are a middle class problem. And yet he's got a density to call other people clever blacks. clever blacks. Hypocrisy. In summary, fuck you. Chup chup. Chup la masse. Fat motherfucker. Sid la masse. What do you say? Ah, fuck him, bro. I don't even <laughs> want to say. No, man. This is fucking irritating and you shouldn't have done that live if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You are instigating. In actual fact, the government should come after your ass as well yeah. for telling people to loot and, and steal. And steal. Yeah. They must come after your ass as well. <coughs> and that is why arrested. Mocha Love had to distance because he's a lunatic. He's crazy. He's fucking crazy. And this guy has gotten a second chance through mm. government rules mm. that... Okay, we're not even going to go. You know his story. Yeah, I know his story. You know I his know. story, mm. Right. It's I think just infuriating, yeah. bro. It's just I, I think, I think uh, you know why I kept quiet? Mm. I think I've got a way to sort this shit out. Okay. Yeah, I think I've got a way to sort this shit out. I think we must bring in um, Agent Kelly Kumalo back. <laughs> I think when they were dating, her skills were low. <laughs> <laughs> her, she, wasn't, wow. she wasn't, she hadn't mastered her skills. skills. I think she needs to come back and deal with and this And deal boy. with this guy. Yeah, yeah. She must come back and deal with this chup chup, um, Malcolm Malcolm X wannabe motherfucker. Nah, it's a fucking idiot. Anyway, 
Uh, we'll, we'll get Agent Agent Kelly to sort our shit out, man. <laughs> Joop Joop, just shut the fuck up, man. If you hey. don't have a lot to say, you don't know what the fuck mm. you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If you wanna go after your colleagues or your uh, fellow celebrities, Jeez. yeah, call them. You've got their numbers. Yeah. But what you're saying, what you're trying to do, coming on IG Live, is that you want us to you trying to recruit us mm. in your way of thinking to hate other people. Mm. Based on your lies and uninformed bitches nigger views, so fuck you. Next. Oh shit! I must give myself a clap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget that. <laughs>